All right, what's going on guys? It's your boys, Zichi. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Drytron post-adventure package, post Fluanderies, all that stuff. Now that uh, everything is out, we can take a look at how strong Drytron is this season. Thanks to Olivia, she's given us replays here of her Drytron deck because she's a Drytron wizard, the Drytron queen, literally. Uh, if I need Drytron help, I go to her for help. So definitely check her links out in the description below. And she also asked me to show you guys an updated guide which will be in the description and the pinned comment of this video so definitely check that out right we're going to take a look at how she uses the deck this season she tops every single season with the dry chant so we know it can still put up boards right we can get those negates out because nothing is banned in dry chants besides benton being limited nothing has really changed right it still has its negates and everything like that so we're going to go ahead and take a look at those replays i'm going to have the deck list uh like i said in the description below as well so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video if you want to see more dry chan hit that like button comment make sure you comment because the comments do help right it lets me know what you guys want to see and share like subscribe all that stuff right so yeah let's just hop straight into it all right first thing we're going to take a look at here optimal opening hand here uh this hand is really good obviously we have the, the zeta alpha right then she's going to activate the cyber emergency really good to add uh the gamma to the hand here that card being stopped i'm pretty sure she didn't want that card to be stopped but at the same time she normal summoned at first meaning she was trying to bait an ash right so our end board is going to be a little bit different here we're not going to be able to go into uh our what's it is she even running it yeah we're not going to go to beatrice now i feel like if we go into beatrice our combo kind of ends what we would have to do is we're going to try to end on a board where we can still extend onto their turn, right? So let's see. We're gonna activate the Gamma, come back from the graveyard, then we can go into our Mi Beta Fafnir, sending the, the what's it, Delta? Yeah, oh, whichever one it is. Then we're gonna go ahead, Fusion Summon out, or Ritual Summon out the Ben 10 so that way we can go ahead and activate the Delta to get the draw and activate Ben 10 to add. So we add the Perfection here. We're going to activate the medium as a dry chant to bring it to the hand. Okay, there's so many stuff, so much stuff going on, guys. <laughs> dry chant is so fun. Like, listen, I know a lot of people hate dry chant because of their negates, but actually setting up boards with dry chant is so fun to me. That's why it's always going to be one of my favorite decks, right? But pay attention to what's going on, right? She went ahead, ritual summoned out the Benten so that way she can get the the draw off right she basically used benton i think she used benton twice i wasn't really paying attention let's go ahead and check real quick she got benton here and benton there so yeah we were able to use benton twice which is really really good like i said benton being at one doesn't really hit this deck too hard it's just less consistent when you're not drawing into her right but that's why the the zeta is there so that way you can go ahead and add a ritual monster to your hand right so now that we have that we were able to get our perfection on the field we can uh, use the Meteorus Jarchon to ritual summon that as well. Let's see what happens. We go ahead and activate the Meteorus. Get our Eda 10 on the field. Okay. We're going to activate Eda 10 to add back the Meteorus Jarch. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. We're going to go ahead and activate the Gamma to get two on the field. We're going to go link into Mascarina. Really good. Then we're going to activate to go. Oh, we're going into Link Karibo. Okay. Okay, Olivia, I see you. Activate this. Uh, okay, I get why. I see why. Now we have a bunch of interruptions, right? So we go to Eda 10 again. Activate Eda 10. Adding the uh, Dawn of the Herald. Activate Dawn of the Herald to go into our perfection. So now we have a couple negates in hand, right? So we have this and that. That will add a card to the hand, which is the... Well, what did he add? The e what did she add? The Eda 10? I didn't pay attention. Okay, yeah, we're adding the Eda 10. And then this is going to be able to boost our cards up. So it's really good. 3,800 defense. And we have fodder for the dropper, right? We have the Herald. We don't really need Link Rebo, And we don't really need the Mi Beta. So that's really good. Uh, he's going to go ahead and activate the Rite of Era. Really good. Okay. This is good. This is good. We're negating all these cards. That's crazy. We wasted two negates already on just one card. Basically one card. 
activate the arrow to get the token on the field. Activate normal summon this so that way we can grab the Draco back. Gonna activate. Ooh, that's not good though. That's not good at all. He's gonna activate the Draco back to equip to send the card back to the hand. But oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I kind of figure what we're about to be doing here. We're gonna go into the unicorn, but it looks like we might. Oh wait, no. The goddess. <laughs> oh, we going into goddess. <laughs> no, but then she still gets the uh, still gets the pop. Not to pop, she still gets to uh, send back. What deck is he using? Looks like a... It couldn't be the... Oh my god. This is a good deal. I like this. These are the kinds of duels that I like, right? Back and forth. Really good. We stop the Hulk. Go into battle. Can't do anything. We can hold cards in our hand. We can just go in for the attack, honestly. We have 2800 attack and an Ash. Really good. They also... Ooh, okay. Olivia is making plays. Activate the Gamma. Gamma go into Zeta. Activate the Meteor Drytron. Come back to the hand. What are we going to here? Oh, we have to add a card. What are we going to? Natasha? We Natasha stealing? Not yet. Okay, not yet. We're going to draw a card here. We're refilling. Look at that. Look at the, the value that we got out of, the, <laughs> out of all of that. Okay, GG's, GG's. That was a good deal. Okay, we're going second here. We have one interruption in hand. Just one. So it's a, that's the only card we can ash. That's the only card that we can ash. Okay, very good. Uh, why would they start off with... Oh, he just goes into DPE. That is that all they could do? What deck is this? Sword Soul DPE? Hmm, okay. I can see a bunch of plays that we have in our hand here. What do we draw into? What do we draw into? Do people tech... Kaijus in, uh, in Drytrons. I, I imagine if they did. Okay, we're gonna give them a bunch of draws here. At this point, we might as well play through it. You know, you could have passed, but we don't know what kind of cards they have, right? They only three cards on field, but honestly, in my opinion, I would have passed. I no, not in my opinion. I definitely would have passed for sure. But we're gonna give them three draws. It looks like, and then we're also gonna get Ben Ten. He's really good. Ben 10 uh, effect, and then we get to add Ben 10 back as well. Really good. Look at the... <laughs> Maxi gives so much value, it's not even funny. Oh my god. That's GG's. Maxi is ridiculous. Okay, we add Natasha. We can Natasha steal if you want to. We could Natasha steal. I think. Okay, he's gonna pop. But we have negates. Let's go. And then DPE comes back. Oh, that's so good. Yo, Olivia is a genius. That's really good. Very nice. DP... Wait, DP effect? Okay, there it is. We're gonna go ahead and activate the Herald of Arc Light. That gets to add a card to the hand as well. So we add the Meteonis Jarchon. We're just giving full value. We're just going ahead and giving them full value out of Maxi. If they're not drawing... Okay, yeah, we can negate that. Negate. This is dangerous though, this is very dangerous because um, we're kind of playing into Nib, right? We're kind of playing into Nib. Unless we can add something back to the hand, we're playing into Nib. We're gonna fusion summon, or uh, I keep saying fusion, we're gonna ritual summon into the Ben 10. We're gonna activate probably the Gamma from the graveyard to get another draw so that way we can negate a Nib. At least we're finally playing around. Oh, rip. Rip. That's not good at all. That is not good at all. Okay, activate the Meteonis Jarchon. We get to bring... We get to go into... Oh, we're linking. Oh yeah, this is OTK. This is OTK here. Attack twice. Yeah, GG. I'm surprised they didn't join to their nib. GG. GG. G G next match. Alright, I'm gonna make this the final replay here. We're going second again. Uh we have one interruption. Alright, that's this 
Harold of Orange. Okay, well, we did not need that. Let's go. <laughs> El Glitch, you gotta love it. You gotta love the background. The background set. Every time I see at least three, I'm always scared. Okay, I'm always scared. What is this? This is an El Glitch. This is not a lich. Each time, each player can only control one type of monster. Okay, well. When it says type, does it mean like fairy type, uh, machine, stuff like that? I guess. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and then Solemn Judgment. I've never seen that uh, animation. Really good. <laughs> okay, Medionis Dry, I mean Dry Nova, sorry. We're gonna go activate Zeta to go into to grab. Oh, that's really good. We're gonna get our 4K beater here. Just attack, unaffected. But oh, you can't target it with card uh, card effects that are monster effects. They're really good. Go into Mu Beta Fafnir. Activate that, sending the Zeta. Activate Zeta, tributing because like he has this on the field. You can only control one type, right? So. Machine type is the best. We're probably going to go into uh, our 4,000 attack here. Oh, wait. This is Eldritch. I've never seen this card being played in Eldritch before. I'm going to be honest with you. But I understand why it's played. I guess. I guess. There you go there. The animation is top tier. That's going to be the thumbnail. That animation right there. No, I'm just kidding. That card is going to be in the thumbnail. Okay, we're still going. We can attack all of these. We can attack every monster on the field with uh, the 4,000 attack. And then this is GG's 2k, 2k. Nice. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that Drytron is still very much used by a lot of people. Like, it's not even just Olivia. She's not the only one. There's a lot of people using dry chunks just because the deck is so fun to use in my opinion all right you're not constantly you're not consistently i can't even speak you're not consistently getting out your negates because you know obviously there's cards there's more cards that people are taking in now more hand traps than before when the game first came out than just maxi and ash right so people are you know using dry chunks still because it's fun and it's very good going second deck but it's a very good very good going first obviously because you have those negates and you know you can go into cards like uh your goddess and you have those if just in case you can't get you have herald of the orange light uh you know you have cards like those but yeah i'm gonna have the deck list in the description as well shout out to olivia one more time for showcasing this deck on the channel and like i said guys check out the the combo guide in the des description and the comments because it will be there it's an updated guide and yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video hit that like button comment share subscribe i see you guys in the next one Peace.